Welcome to another edition of this old lathe. My never-ending effort to CNC this old Klausing lathe. Uh, I got something different for you today. A little shout out first of all to my Chinese communist capitalist friends who will sell you a contactless tachometer, digital tachometer on eBay for $15 delivered. It's actually a pretty nice little unit. So I'm going to take a look today and see what the variable frequency drive running the spindle will generate versus the RPM speed of the spindle. So looking at frequency on the drive, RPMs on the spindle. I've, uh, and this lathe we've got here is a, a spindle pulley. Down inside there's an intermediate pulley. That's run by a timing belt. That's a fixed, fixed ratio. But below that, from the intermediate pulley down below to the motor, spindle motor, you have six choices of belt speeds. You can probably see down in there at the a little cone of pulleys way down in the dark, deep recesses there. And there's a nice little chart up here in the front of the lathe. So normally you'd be running this at 60 hertz. 60 hertz, uh, I've got it in D now, the D pulley selection. Those are just arbitrary. Uh, arbitrary A, B, C, D, E, F. But in D, we should be looking at 900 RPMs. And I'm not messing with any of the back gear or any of that stuff. It's just the straight straight drive up from there, no extra reduction or whatever. So I'm going to crank up the lathe, fire up the uh, fire up the VFD, and it's ramping up. You can hear it in the background. There it is. It's heading to 60. So we're holding at 60 hertz right now. So the way this works, you can see that little white strip in there. That's the reflective tape that I've attached to the spindle. Being careful not to get into any of the moving stuff. Come over here and press the test button. And it puts a little laser, targeting laser out there. It'll work anywhere between 2 and 10 inches away. Put it right on the strip. Look down. 930, 932. So that's RPMs on the spindle motor, about 934. 930 to 934. Let's come over and jog down here a bit. So heading down to 30 hertz. It's a little rattly in there. A little harmonic resonance it doesn't like. But come back in here again. One hundred and sixty hertz uh, RPMs. It's not quite an even ratio of what I was expecting from before, but pretty close. There's probably a little extra slip in the motor at one frequency or another. The motor was designed to work at sixty hertz. All this kind of goes away. This really, for now, just gets me in the ballpark, as was originally intended with the, the lathe. I mean, those numbers from the gear ratios, I've actually calculated them, and they're not exact. They're just close enough. They round up or down on the chart. The idea is just to get machinists in the 60s pretty close to where they need to be. But now in the digital era, here inside the headstock, I'm going to be installing a gear tooth sensor, actually three of them, and I'm going to configure them so that they will create an absolute uh, encoder, quadrature encoder, the idea being it'll generate one index pulse per revolution and then it'll generate, I've forgotten how many, but it's quite a few pulses for good resolution that are quadrature, like two pulses out of phase so it can tell whether it's moving forwards or backwards. So all that's going to go on here and eventually the CNC PC that I have running uh, Ubuntu Linux and EMC2 will be used to drive exactly the, arc, the spindle RPM that I want. So the actual settings on the VFD, the frequency to RPM, that mapping really won't matter in the long run. But for right now, I've been using this lathe uh, more in a manual mode. I don't have any of the CNC stuff hooked up yet, so I've been running the lathe with the VFD hooked up to the spindle, so I don't have to mess with the belt to adjust the, the uh, spindle speed. I can just dial it in on the VFD, and I've been doing a little bit of really simple machining, learning to do lathe work and kind of get in the hang, hang of the VFD. So anyway, that's where we are today. Still not a lot of CNC accomplished, but getting there. New toys to play with. So, 
Tune in next time and hopefully I'll have something working under computer control or at least have some motors and sensors mounted.